Welcome back. I'm Pastor Cat. This is your weekly encouragement. This morning in my daily devotional, I found something interesting that got me beginning to think about what it means to serve other people. If you are a parent like I am, I don't have to tell you that you already give up a lot for your children. It may be your time, your money, your resources, your energy, certainly your emotions. And it's funny to look at what God has given us and then what he requires of us. Well, the passage for today, we actually have two of them. The first one comes out of Joshua chapter 24. I'll lay that out and then we'll talk about it. It says this, I gave you a land on which you had not labored, the cities which you hadn't built. You've lived in them. You're eating of the vineyards and the olives which you never planted. Now, therefore, Fear the Lord, serve him with sincerity and truth. Put away the gods of your fathers served beyond the river in Egypt and serve the Lord. That's the first thing that God calls us to do. He's given us so much. What he's asking is that we take advantage of the things he's given and then serve him with them. Now, when you think of serving God, you may actually think of things you can do at your church, things that we normally look at as being spiritual things, volunteering to cook in the kitchen or to set up chairs or to tear down or run a soundboard or be on a worship team. The list goes on and on. But I want to expand that a little bit. I think it's much bigger. I really believe this is serving your fellow man, believers in the faith, your own children, or even just your neighbors, not because you want to, not because you're a good person, but because God has served you first. Well, whenever my mind turns to think about service, normally the next thing that happens after time and energy and emotions immediately goes to my stuff, right? What things has God given me for me and what things do I need to be ready to let go of? And that brings us to our second passage of the day, and that's Matthew chapter 6. We'll be starting at verse 19. We're doing five whole verses. It says this, Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth, which moth and rust destroy, where thieves break in and steal. But store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust destroys, where thieves do not break in and steal, or where your treasure is, there your heart will also be. This one gets a little tricky because I know, for me, everything I own, it wears out, it breaks, it turns turns into old technology. And so I'm always constantly trying to recycle it, yet I put so much energy into the stuff of this world. God says, no, put your treasure where thieves can't get to it, where rust and mold can't break it down. Store up your treasure in heaven where it's always going to be. He continues. He said, the eye is a lamp into the body. So then if your eye is clear, your whole body is full of light. But your eye is bad, your whole body is full of darkness. If then the light that is in you is darkness, how great is that darkness? And that is just a great analogy. If you have eyes that don't function, everything is dark, right? And so if you're looking at the wrong stuff, your entire life is going to be dark. If my goal in life is to store up treasures for me here on earth, everything else goes dark. Now he closes up with, I believe, one of the harshest lessons and the most poignant lessons we can learn from the entire Bible. And it says, no one can serve two masters, for either he'll hate one and love the other, or he'll be devoted to one and just despise the other. You cannot serve God and wealth. So when it comes to serving other people, my encouragement for you and for myself is not only be willing to give your neighbor a ride to the doctor's office when they need it, but also hold the things God is giving you with a loose hand. You can't serve two masters. You're either going to hate one and love the other or be devoted to one and despise the other. So as for me and my house, and I pray for yours too, that we will begin to stop chasing wealth and learn to serve those around you. Well, I hope this has been as encouraging for you as it has been for me. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. God bless. I'll see you next week. Be encouraged.